Hey guys, so if you haven't heard the uh, news this week here in Myrtle Beach area, well, apparently the entire east coast of the United States, we are dealing with a fuel shortage. Despite what the media wants to tell you, there's almost no gas to be had around here. I actually don't know what the media is saying. Well, from what I'm hearing, so I have friends in Ohio that are telling me, hey, is it really um, bad down there? Because they're saying that there's no problem now and the shortage is, you know, the pipeline's back running and supply chains are yeah, running. there's but, no gas. But there's no gas, no. Every so often you'll see a station that has a tanker truck pulling up and the lines are huge. So yeah, there's no, there's no gas at this moment. There hasn't been all week. Let's change our story. Let's change our life. We'll do it our way, our own design. Welcome back guys. Um, we are working away here. This week has been a challenge for a whole variety of reasons. Um, if you are watching this uh, immediately, it will come as no surprise that we are severely affected by a fuel shortage because here in Myrtle Beach area, we have no gas, none, zero. It's a total mess. Um, we did see a tanker this morning though, uh, so that's a good sign. On the way home last night, we saw a tanker as well and that gas station's already empty. So. Yeah, it's a mess and it's probably not going to get better anytime soon. Um, so bring us to today. We're working with projects that we have on hand and anything that I get the notion to go get started on, we're not able to do because we're trying to be very careful when we run to the store and you know, all of that. We're trying to streamline our trips and, and make use of our fuel. Hopefully it's going to get better soon, but here we are right now. So we've got all of this base frame in. This is starting to come together pretty nicely. It's it's a bit of a mess at the moment, but you can see um, the wood trim is coming in. We've got brand new vinyl on the wall here and here. And while the camera was turned, Becky is sneaking in and she is going to work over here on this wall. These lights, um, we really like them, but we really don't like the way that they've been installed with, you know, so we may use them again. We may not. We'll see. Um, if things get a little out of control later, we've got some wine. Calm down. That's probably needed for me. Um, but what I'm doing right now is I'm cutting away this piece of trim here. This is, it looks like, right. what? You can't have wine. Oh, right. I can't have wine. Contains sulfates. Oh. I'm allergic to sulfites. We're pretty sure, 99% sure. So that means I can't have french fries or potato chips unless we make them at home and um, wine contains sulfites. Although, you know what? If I do drink the wine, that would probably confirm. It'd probably confirm my allergy because I break out in a big rash, which is pretty uncomfortable. Um, We were given this bottle of wine and I've been saving it for the renaming ceremony whenever we're able to get the name for our boat. The name of our boat, we've, it's been renamed officially, but it's not, um, boat. it's not labeled on the boat. Our name uh, decals are made, um, but they're going to come help us put it on and that's going to be soon. I need to polish the outside of the boat in the areas where the name's going to go first because it's chalky. And um, I think that that's going to affect the decals to not stick very well. And um, that will be coming up soon. So the existing name is obviously going to be wiped from the record. Now, I know all about the superstitions. I can feel people out there just going at their keyboards right away to tell me about how it's unlucky and all this. Um, this particular boat, boy, if it's unlucky, we're in a big problem because it's already been renamed like five times. I'm pretty sure we found evidence of multiple previous names um, through the paperwork on the boat itself, different areas. So we're going to try our best to clean that up to appease any of those superstitions. Um, more about that to come hopefully in the next couple of weeks. Anyway, you're making big progress. It's not easy. This mattress is heavy and thick and uh, it's not comfortable though. And I think it's heavier than our memory foam. I don't know why. Why is this heavier than our memory foam? And it's it a custom split. made mattress. It's terrible. So I think actually I'd like to measure this and see if our mattress fits in here because I'd rather have our mattress from the okay. RV. Okay. It's so much more comfortable, even though it's like a full on mattress. 
Not a split mattress. Maybe we should get two twins of our kind of mattress? Maybe. We might fall into crack in the middle. I mean, there's a crack in the middle of this and we don't fall in it. Not this one. This is one solid mattress. No. Carter's has a split. This mattress is split, baby. Are you sure? Reach down in there and tell me it's split. Is it split? It's not split. Shut up, go away. <laughs> Okay, so I'm getting ready to put this piece of the face frame on. So you can see I've got this piece and this piece. All of this here, I was able to make, um, you know, on the workbench basically, and then install it, which is how I prefer to do this. But so uh, here's the thing. I'm making these level to the boat and plumb, right? And then, and then uh, 90 degrees. And a lot of times that is kind of, not really working out so well it's 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 been very tricky so i have to get it as close as i can um but you can see here i've got a very weird angle kind of creative fit that has to go in here and then this um is going to go and line up with this corner here we're going to screw in from the back side like you can see there one of the issues is like this down here you got to get this pushed in in order to make this pretty close to square so it's it's quite tricky actually and then to make matters even worse i cannot find my screwdriver so i'm left with the drill with the uh square head on it to try to get this in and this is just not what i call fun right here i prefer to do these by hand with my handheld screwdriver you know not like a drill driver because I have more control that way. I don't like to strip these things out. But that that actually went pretty good. We're still tied up against the bottom here. That looks like it's fit pretty good. It feels pretty good right here. We just need to check and see if we're square still. And we're not quite, but we are very close. And if I squeeze this down at the foot up against this wall, I think that's going to do it. All right, I've got those face frames on. This is pretty good. I mean, we're only off maybe, maybe a sixteenth of an inch by the time we get all the way to the top. So um, over on this side is the same thing. Really, really good. It's very important for me at this point that these are square because when I go to make my drawer fronts, um, I would really like to make them at 90 degree angles. Otherwise it's going to look like a Edward Scissorhands uh, cabinet Beautiful or something. Name. But here we go. So now we need to do these uprights here and here, and I've got plenty of scrap for that. And then this face frame, oh, other than down here. So down here, this is going to be a shoe nook because we've got the curvature of the hull. So I'm gonna put maybe, I don't know, a board across here and then of course, um, one down at the bottom and then a piece of, uh, uh, you know, laminate ply or something like that. So we'll have an area to kind of drop shoes down in there. screwed into the vinyl? I don't know. It looks like it's screwed. Just rip it off. It's just pull on the vinyl. No, babe. It went into the fiberglass. Huh. All right. Well, we'll patch look it. This. Look how many times they've twisted this around. I'm surprised that light even lit up. And apparently they had hatches open for a very long time because there's mud dopper nests in there. So, I mean, those don't happen quickly. That's, that's hours, possibly days, weeks of uh, window being open at some point. Look. Yeah, that one almost goes all the way through. 
Wow. It looks like it did not go all the way through, but we'll we'll fill it. I'll sand it, thicken epoxy it. But that's almost to the gel coat. Hmm. Oh well. Let me just cut those. Put it back here. That's crazy. Look how the wa how the wire is dark there. Yeah. You just might need to throw this away. I mean, they might. I don't know what they are. This is made in China, so they're so they were an addition, obviously. Well, we know they were an addition, but they might be able to be cleaned up and reused somewhere. Maybe in our bathroom above the vanity. Uh, they need a lot of cleaning. Okay. Moving along, you're doing great. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Um, thanks for being patient with us. This week has been really wild with the fuel shortages. Hopefully that's gonna rectify itself soon and then we'll be back to normal full operation. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't already, go ahead and do that. Give us a like and um, we will see you next time.